What's going on? My name is Caleb James. I'm from Wichita, Kansas, and I started a lawn care business in 2020. I had no money. I was drinking. I was doing drugs. I didn't have confidence around girls. I was very skinny. I got cut from the basketball team in high school, and I was looking for an outlet that I could do well in. I wanted to go to business. I wanted to have money so that people would look up to me and people would respect me. And so there was a kid at my high school who had a mowing business and I, and I became his friend. And I started mowing with him and I was really showing passion for the lawn care business. And somebody in my family saw that and luckily they gave me the chance and said, Caleb, do you wanna start your own business? I was like, of course I do. Of course I wanna start my own business. And they gave me a $7,000 loan. The $7,000 loan was not risky at all because we were buying depreciated assets. We were buying a mower and a trailer. If I messed up, we could sell those and he'd get his money back. So although it was lucky that I got the loan, I know it's possible for you to go and get a loan from somebody else. And the way that you can pitch it is, hey man, there's zero risk and I'm gonna work really hard, pay this off to you in four months. You can even give them 2000 bucks, you know, for giving them the loan, it's fine. Being in debt is a good thing most of the time because it allows you to have a chance. I paid that $7,000 loan off in four months. It was scary because I had the loan and I had no customers. So what I did is I took all my basketball shoes, I bought door hangers, and then I went knocking on doors. It pushed me out of my comfort zone. I was very nervous knocking on these doors, but it, it had me so committed to have this loan behind my back. I wanted to prove to this family member that I was, I was worthy of, of his trust and that I could, I could do this again. And if I needed this help again, I wanted him to be able to help me out. So I got 20 customers. I wrote, a to -do, I wrote a list of 20 people and I got 20 yards. I paid the loan off in three months. And then at the end of that year, I bought a house and house hacked it with a roommate, stored all my mowing equipment there. And that year completely changed my life. The next year, I had around 40 yards to start the year and I was mowing. And the kid that I learned from in high school was going to college. And so I owner financed the business with him and we worked it out to, I would mow the yards eight times for free. He'd get paid for it. And then the yards were mine because the yards aren't under contract. You can't really do a legit business purchase. So we just worked it out mutually. If a yard dropped, I wouldn't have to pay for it. It worked great. So I mowed the yards for two months, then boom, they were mine. It doubled me in size. I had 80 yards my second year in business. You see how fast things can change. When you're in the moment though, it doesn't seem so fast. You're getting hit with things. Uh, you don't know what you're doing. When I started, I did not know what I was doing. I didn't know how to code a project. I didn't really know how to mow a yard, but I had confidence in myself that I would figure it out. And I know that you have confidence in you that you can figure it out because if you look at your life and you look back on all the hard things that you've done, you've always figured it out or you knew somebody that could help you to figure it out. So this second year, I was working really hard and uh, you know, I was still partying, I was still drinking and I was spending most of my money on stupid things you know, like nice jackets or stuff for my house or alcohol or trying to impress people with my money. But what I realized is that stuff doesn't impress anybody and it doesn't fix your problems. It still just leaves you weak inside. You have to fix your problems internally and you have to do the things that you tell yourself you're going to do. And that's how you build the self-confidence. So that year was just me trying to you know, get people to like me, spending a bunch of money. And then that third year, the year after that, I was working mowing yards and I realized that, hey, I'm working way too hard and I'm not making enough money. There's people driving Rolls Royces in Miami working way less than me. So something's wrong. I fell down the rabbit hole of personal development and I started investing into myself. I started going to uh, boot camps around the world. Uh, I started going to masterminds and then I met people in my industry that were doing what I wanted to do, but were just ahead of me. And so now I just positioned myself into a whole new arena. 
I'm now a small fish. Compared to my high school friends, I was a big fish. They didn't have businesses. So what I did is I threw myself into another tank with people that were way bigger than me. So now I have a whole nother mountain to climb. And I realized that a lot of these people sold the lawn care business and then got into project-based landscape work. There's higher profit margins. So immediately I sold the lawn care business and I jumped into the higher profit margin landscape work. Everybody around me told me I was absolutely crazy that I should keep the lawns, but I decided that, hey, I've already built a lawn business. I know I can build it again. So I'm just gonna focus on this, this higher profit margin landscape work. I'm gonna figure this out and I want 100% of my energy, time and effort into this, figuring this out. And if I decide I want lawns again, I'll bring that back in. So I sold the lawns immediately with the same structure that I bought the lawns from previously. Eight mows for free, and then he took all the yards, and it worked great. So now I just sold my income, and now I'm jumping into something completely different. I don't know how to build a patio. I don't know how to build a retaining wall. I don't know. I Dude, I, I'm just a kid that played Fortnite and drank and partied. And I just started lawn care because I knew a kid that was making money at it. So now I, I'm in the landscape stuff and I don't know what I'm doing. So what I did is I paid 6,000 bucks. I took a big risk. 6,000 was probably all I had at the time. I just swiped it on a credit card. Once again, I had the confidence in myself and I knew that it would get taken care of. Even if the payments get stretched out and I'm paying interest, I knew it had to be done. So I paid six grand for this website and it made me look very legit. And uh, I started getting jobs from it. People, you know, people saw the website. It gave me credibility. And the, the first couple jobs I did, I lost money. That's okay. It's a learning experience. You're paying your tuition. Uh, so that year was basically just a learning year. Middle of the summer, I got up to four employees. I thought it, that it was really cool to have employees for some reason. I would tell people, yeah, I have four employees, but I wasn't making money. Um, and so, you know, and my, the employees that I had, I got them off of Facebook. They told me they knew what they were doing, but they really didn't. So, you know, the projects were taking longer. We'd have to go back and fix things. And so I ended up having to let all of them go. And because I was posting on social media, a contractor actually reached out to me and said, Caleb, I'd love to work with you. So I was like, okay, perfect. So what we started doing is I started subcontracting the projects and he's been in the industry for 30 years and I have been in the industry for two months, but I'm good at getting the jobs, talking to the customers and selling them. And then what I do after that is then I have him build it for me and we worked out a daily rate and it's been working well. So since then, and this whole year, I've been subcontracting projects to different contractors, and my job is to solely make sure that the customer gets a five-star service, and the contractor has a very smooth transition into the projects that I sell. And so it's been a, it's been a crazy journey, and obviously it hasn't gone that fast, but I'm here to tell you that it's very possible and very achievable, and now I've actually continued to invest into myself. Hundreds of thousands of dollars I've invested into myself, into my network. And you may not see the results immediately, but I'm telling you that down the road, they will pay dividends. I have people in my network making 600,000 a month, 2 million a month. And just to get little nuggets from them and pieces of wisdom and being in their circle is worth way more than the 5,000 that you traded. So you have to detach yourself from money and you have to be willing to trade it uh, for experiences, for network, uh, for knowledge. That's how I've gotten to this point. And so I'm actually in Spain right now and I'm running my hardscape business from across the world. My business is in Kansas and I have a project manager, a sales guy and my brother on ground in Kansas and they're managing the projects. I'm still working on the back end. I'm still building automations in the systems and I'm still closing deals over the phone, but I'm actually in Spain right now, living remote with some other business friends. And so our business model is very cool because we don't have overhead, we don't have trucks, we don't have trailers. Anybody can do this if they have a smartphone, if they have a laptop. I can show you how to do this. 
um, you don't really need knowledge in the, I mean, you need a little bit of, of knowledge in the industry, but really you just need to be good at communication and you need to be good at sales and anybody can do this. You can do it with decks, you can do it with roofs, uh, you can do it with fences, you can do it with patios. I could even you know, create a website for pools and then start getting pool jobs and then contracting that out. So it's, it's a very, very cool business model. And also I can be done tomorrow and I have no loans keeping me a slave to the business. So I wanted to get on here, share my journey, let you know that it's very possible. If you have questions or you need help, comment below and let's keep leveling up.